What a mess! This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur! Stop holding your breath at once! Has it occurred to you that he may be dead, Mou? Oui, monsieur, but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence and... How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? All we know is that he is dead. It seemed reasonable to assume... A great detective assumes nothing. Take Maigret, for instance. But, but he was a fictitious character, monsieur. Why, he was no more real than Poirot or Tintin. That's different, Mou. They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. I doubt if she is in a fit state for questioning, monsieur. It smells to me as if she has been drinking. As I feared, we have stumbled upon a den of iniquity, Mou. Leave her to me, sir. I am used to handling drunken women. I do not doubt that for one moment. Et maintenant, to business. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon, the picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Mou? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. What about my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened, are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough.
The sergeant was a scrawny man in his fifties who resembled a constipated chicken. Excuse me, sergeant. You are the inspector. Go on, monsieur. I found this in the street, sergeant. That, monsieur, is a newspaper, no? There's a note written on it. Sala Edin, 1345. Ah, so the meeting with the clown was planned. How do you make that out? The time of the explosion was between half past one and two o'clock, n'est-ce pas? I guess so. But what about the name? Aha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, in my life, monsieur. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah Eddin the clown? I don't think so. Did I show you this newspaper? Yes, monsieur. Look, sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. I've got Inspector Rosso's address card. Yes, monsieur. You showed me before. Did you find the victim's briefcase yet? No, sir. The inspector gave me specific instructions to guard this door. Until he countermands these orders or backup arrives, here I stay. I really did see the clown. He ran into the alley across the street. Did you follow him? That's your job, not mine. An armed chase through the streets of Paris? That's not our style, monsieur. Inspector Rosso may be unorthodox, but he's not crazy. How did you and Rosso arrive at the scene of the explosion so quickly? You arrived within minutes. Was it a tip-off? Inspector Rosso's sources are a perpetual mystery to me, monsieur. There are some who say he has made a pact with the devil. And what do you think? I think he is the devil. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once-over, as you Americans say. Huh? Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. Was he serious about all that psycho detective stuff? Of course. Inspector Rosso is a pioneer and a visionary. His revolutionary methods, once perfected, may change the face of law enforcement forever. I can't see it taking off in L.A. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kinda... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, Monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, Monsieur. Go home and try to forget. See you later, Sergeant. 